If you testify against a cop, they get convicted and sentenced, and later that week you get murdered, who do you think we're looking at first? Hello, welcome to Escaping the Echo Chamber. I'm your host, Aaron Comey. If you haven't heard, Joshua Brown has been murdered. If you don't know who Joshua Brown is by name, you may know him by face, you may have heard of him. He's one of the individuals who testified against Amber Geiger. Yes, that Amber Geiger the former Dallas cop who killed an unarmed black man in his apartment while he was eating ice cream and watching television. Yes, that Amber Geiger, who was convicted and sentenced to 10 years in prison this week. Joshua Brown testified against Amber Geiger. He was a neighbor of Botham Jeans. And he is now dead. He was shot to death. From what I hear, it was outside his apartment complex um, multiple times. And they're saying that a silver sedan, witnesses have claimed they saw a silver car vehicle uh, fleeing the premises. So clearly, I mean, I'm seeing so much focus automatically on, wow, like how how does this happen? Like that, the very same week, days after she sentenced. I don't know what happened. I don't know if the cops had anything to do with it. I don't know. But the fact that we have to wonder, the fact that so many people are immediately saying, whoa, what's going on here? That tells you something about where we're at. That tells you something about how little people do and people can trust the police, the people who are supposed to be the good guys. Like if our first reaction is, this is a hit. What does that tell you about this? What does that tell you about this time? What does this tell you about this government? About these agents of the government that are here for our, uh, to serve and to protect? Like, come on. We're seeing time and time again that the the image, the, the rhetoric doesn't match the the reality the rhetoric does not match the reality because we're seeing instances of cops planting evidence on people just to get convictions just to toss people in prison just to mess with people we're seeing we're seeing video of cops killing people unarmed people people that aren't aren't a threat to anybody we're seeing this with our own eyes because now Everybody has a camera on them. People may have been saying this for years, but now everybody's got a camera on them. And now we're seeing it with our own eyes. And we're starting to realize something. Cops can't be trusted. And so many people don't trust the cops. So why are we still putting so much power, so much authority in their hands? I don't know what the situation is. I don't know who killed them. But the fact that so many people are immediately looking at the police department. And I'm I'm not saying they're wrong to do that. That tells you something. Because like right now with my mind, I'm like, wow, if this comes out, if if if. the, The police department or any individual cops had something to do with this. Like, like, this is just, there's so many people that already look at the cops as a gang. Like, this is, this is bad. Like, how does this happen? I, I, don't, I don't know what the situation is. I don't know what the reality is. I don't know who's responsible for this murder, for Joshua Brown's, Joshua Brown's murder. I don't know. But I'm definitely keeping my eyes open. And I'll definitely be talking more about it as more evidence, more 
information is revealed because right now this is looking suspect, incredibly suspect. Thank you for checking out this episode of Escaping the Echo Chamber. I'm your host, Aaron Comey. As always, be sure to like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time.